What a fucking year it's been. Hi guys, it's Charlotte and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I don't even know where to start at this point, honestly. Um, why do I feel like this is the start of a fucking apology video? I have, in the last week, had my Instagram account disabled twice. The real reason that I actually wanted to come on here is because I basically want to tell you guys how to not get your Instagram account back when you lose it. Because when I tell you I fucked up, I literally fucked up. So last Friday, I was actually just about to record a followers choose my day kind of thing poll on my Instagram. And when I went on to check the first poll, I got a notification off Instagram saying, your Instagram account has been disabled. And I thought, here we fucking go, because it's happened to so many girls, literally all the time. Um, and I feel like it's bad because when you do Instagram, I feel like it's something that you're just waiting for. So basically, just to explain, when you lose your Instagram account, what happened to me anyway is they asked you to verify your phone number, which I did. I got a code sent, I sent the code, and then they basically said, um, we'll review. You'll be told what's happening in 24 hours time and you can request a review on the help centre. So 24 hours by went. And I literally could not get into my Instagram. It kept on saying it logged me out, it kept on saying it logged me out. There's a lot of people who have lost their Instagram accounts before. So I messaged a few guys and they sent me a couple of forms to fill out. So I think I filled out about three Instagram forms. And I had to send like a photo of me with a code. And then also photos of me with my ID through to Facebook. Now... Why this video is called how not to get your Instagram account back is because I actually genuinely don't know what is wrong with me. But for some reason, I had an email from an email address that was something like Instagram.disabledhelp, something like that. Now, some of you might be like, this is a red flag from the start. But literally, when you guys hear the story, genuinely, yeah. The email being saying, your Instagram has been disabled due to impersonation. And I thought, right, okay, a bit weird, because obviously I am me. Um, please reply to this email if you think we've made a mistake. And I was like, sorted. So I replied to the email. I sent a shitty email basically saying, like, you're wrong. My Instagram is connected to my Facebook. It's connected to my TikTok, my YouTube. All of which you can see, I am said person. I am myself. So then they sent me an email basically to say, okay, to prove it's you, please send over a photo of you holding your ID and then another proof of government ID on another photo. So I thought, okay, considering I'd had this same email from Facebook as well, so I had sent that to this Gmail account and this Facebook account and both emails were the exact same, like literally written the exact same. So I was gassed at this point because I was like, how the hell am I actually managing to talk to someone on Instagram? Because everyone has always said to me like, you struggle so much to get through these people on Instagram, you never be able to talk to anyone on Instagram, blah, 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 blah. So I sent them through two forms of my ID. Um, they also didn't ask any of the questions like for my... Um, password or bank, bank details or anything like that. Now, they were like, please, can you confirm the email and the number linked to your, your account? And I was like, yeah, it's my email. This is my number that's linked to the account. And they basically said, once we've verified it's you, we'll be back to you within 12 hours, 24 hours. And then obviously, if it proves it's you, you'll be able to get your account back. So at this point, I was literally like, how the hell have I managed to talk to a real person when you literally can't talk to anyone usually on Facebook and obviously this hasn't happened to me before let's not forget that like this literally has never happened to me so I thought that I was talking to someone from Instagram and then 
soon after I got my Instagram account back, because that's what they managed to do, I managed to get it back, I could log in, I got a legitimate email from Facebook that literally said, your account has seemed to have been disabled by mistake, um, so we, we apologize for any convenience, and you'll be able to log into your account now. So I was like, this legit email from Facebook, I've been emailing someone, li literally the the name of them was Instagram, and their Instagram at seemed just like really, really professional. Everything seemed really, really professional. So I logged back into my Instagram, I was literally buzzing. Obviously, as you can imagine, like, I've literally had the Instagram account for like, well, I've had my Instagram account for years, but I've been doing fashion content for like 12 months now. And it's a fucking lot to do. Like it is literally a lot of hard work and effort went into that account. But after I logged back in, I then got an email from the same person that basically said, you, you've now got access back to your account that your case is now closed. I'm, I have WhatsApp you due to the intensity of this. And I was like, this doesn't make any sense. So I checked my WhatsApp and this person had texted me and I thought to myself like, um, what's going on? <laughs> I literally was like, what the fuck? Because obviously I work in HR. I know that when you give someone your mobile number, you cannot use it for any other reason other than the reason that they gave you permission for, otherwise it's against GDPR data protection. So I saw this and I thought, right, what the fuck, this is weird. And the text message was from the guy, person, who had got my Instagram account back for me and basically said, please can, basically it was like, hi, um, I'm the person that gave you your Instagram account back please can I, me, so please can you, shout me out and say that I am reactivating deactivated Instagram accounts. And I saw this and I was like, what the fuck? So I just went back to him and I went, hi, thanks for getting my Instagram account back for me. Sorry, I don't understand what you require from me. Now you've got my Instagram account back. And he said, for you to shout me out on your Instagram story saying I activate deactivated accounts. And I literally thought to myself, what the fuck have I, literally what have I done? And at this point I was stressing because I had told like two or three of the girls this email that this email emailed me from. So like at this point I feel sick and I'm like, fuck, have I, let's actually deep this. Have I just given my passport and my driver license, a photo of my passport and my driver license to this geezer? And then I get a text saying, I've sent proof, check the photo. And he sent a photo of my email that I'd emailed to him with both me holding my driver's license and a photo of my passport. And I also forgot to mention, this number was a plus 09 number, which numbers registered in Turkey. And I thought to myself, how the fuck am I so gullible? I... Honestly, I don't know why, I hadn't even, I don't know if I've just been naive, but I hadn't even thought that like something like this could happen. Like, I don't know why, but I would just thought that Facebook, Meta, Instagram were fucking big enough to not allow hackers into the fucking like web. So this happened, to, I, got my Instagram back account, I got my Instagram account back on Wednesday. This guy messaged me on Thursday. So then I was sort of like ignoring his messages that he was sending. And then he fucking threatened to take my Instagram account off me. And um, he basically said, I'll put in a request to the team because he was claiming that he fucking worked for Instagram. Um, I'll put a request into the team and get your account disabled. And I thought to myself, if I don't shout this guy out, he's literally going to take my account away from me again. So I was literally sat at home on Thursday thinking, what do I do? Because I'm not putting other girls in this situation. That's like my integrity. Like, why would I even do that? This guy has all of my ID. Literally, what do I do? Um, and I don't know why I was so naive. Like, I genuinely just didn't think that, like, Instagram and stuff could have fucking hackers that would be able to do that to people. I don't know why. I just didn't think that that is something that they would physically actually be able to do. It was mind-blowing to me. Um, so at this point I was literally like, right, I'm going to have to call 101 to tell them what's happened because this person literally has my ID and obviously can have identity fraud and all that stuff. This person on 101 referred me to action fraud. 
So I'm going to get into contact with Action Fraud and tell them what's happened too, because they'll be able to give me advice about what to do because this person has my, literally all my ID. He has my home address. He has my passport number. Like literally, I feel sick. Anyway, at this point, Thursday night, um, I'm still logged into all my Instagram. I'm still logged into my account. And I just thought to myself, you know what? I'm not having this guy like blackmail me, like by threatening to take away my account. And then what if I shout him out and then he wanted money and all that shit. So I just thought, I'm just gonna bite the bullet and I'm gonna block him. So my Instagram account got taken away from me last Friday. Today is Saturday. And last Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday, I think it was Monday. I didn't have my account. I was told on Monday night, my account will be reactivated in 24 hours. I just needed to send one more picture of my ID. Because I was at work, I couldn't do that until Tuesday night. So then I woke up Wednesday morning, and Wednesday morning I logged back in, had my Instagram account. Wednesday to Thursday was when I was messaging this guy, continuously ignoring him because I was like, I literally don't want to talk to him, I'm fucking scared. Um, and then Thursday night, I blocked him on everything. So Friday, I was like still logged in, posting stories, and now it's my giveaway winner, which by the way, if you're watching this, please comment on this video, because I didn't manage to get her details or anything, so I can't, se I can't send out the, the giveaway. So I think she subscribed to my YouTube channel, so if you are watching this, please pop a comment on this, because I'll give you my number and I can get your address and stuff. Anyway, um... So I announced my giveaway on Friday. Everything was sorted, went out for dinner Friday night. We're still posting on my Instagram, did like a, posted a couple of stories for Boohoo. Woke up this morning and my Instagram account had been deleted. So my fucking guy, whoever the fuck this person is, has managed to not only reactivate my account, he has now managed to deactivate my account again and disable it. And the reason I literally want to come on here and tell you guys is because I don't know whether I was being naive, but I literally thought that this literally wouldn't happen to accounts, like hackers couldn't do that to accounts on systems and databases as big as Instagram, like Meta and Facebook. So at current, in the space of a week, I have had my Instagram account deactivated twice. Obviously through a fucking fault of my own because I was so naive and gullible to this person on this email because I literally thought it was legit and now I actually feel like a fucking twat. And I'm now going to try and go through Facebook and Instagram to try and get my account back. And I know that so many girls have literally had no hope with that at all. But I also know some girls have had hope with that. So I am just hoping I am one of the lucky ones and this hacker hasn't been able to like permanently delete or disable my account for some way that I don't even know how because obviously I don't know how anything like that works at all, clearly. So yeah, I just thought I would come on here and basically pre-warn my girls on Instagram who could get their account disabled because it happens to fucking everyone at the moment is to not email anyone but Facebook, which even if it looks legit, do not email anyone apart from Facebook because this person seems so legit. His like email title was Instagram, like his actual like email name was Instagram. And God knows how many people this has literally happened to. I don't know what's going to happen in regard to the fact that he has my ID. I don't know what's going to happen in regard to if I get my Instagram account back through Facebook, is he just going to literally constantly fucking disable it? Because evidently he now knows what to do to disable it. Like, how does he have the power to be able to disable my account, reactivate my account, disable my account? Like, was it him who disabled my account in the first place? Just so I was fucking gullible enough to, to like trust him to get my account back. I know some of you might be watching this like, well, you were literally so stupid, like, this is your fault, why did you even trust it? And I don't actually know. Like, I think it was just because I had hope. Because I literally grew my Instagram from 1.3k to 11.6k in the space of a year. I know people do it faster, I know people do it slower. But I was really, really happy at my progress. I literally, am um, on my second club with PLT, I'm working with Boohoo on like a monthly basis. I'm working with so many amazing brands 
that a year ago I wouldn't have even thought could happen. And now I literally think I fucked it for myself because even if Facebook gives me my account back, how do I then not know that this man isn't going to just constantly disable my account because he now clearly has the access to disable my account. And I think the hardest thing about it is when I started it last year, I was a lot more sort of motivated and I was really excited to get started because I'd never done anything like it before. But now I'm a year in, it's like I'm busier at work, I'm busier in my social life, life is back to normal. Like I started it when we were in a lockdown and like restarting your Instagram account now is the hard work and effort that goes into it, I feel is so much harder than maybe what it was a year ago, so much harder than what it was two years ago. And I know there's some worse things going on in the world, you don't have to tell me that, I'm very aware of other people's issues and problems and a lot of other bad things that are going on in the world. But at the end of the day, this is literally my hard work and effort that potentially could just be taken away from me. And I was so, so stupid to trust this geezer who had emailed me from a Gmail account when Facebook and Meta are one of the biggest companies in the world, why the fuck would they be using Gmail? I wish I asked like more questions, but I don't know why I didn't. It was just like how hopeful I was that I would actually get my account back. But if you are watching this and your Instagram has been disabled, please just don't do what I did. Like try and contact someone who works at Facebook or try and fill out all the forms that sort of a circling around on social media when you lose your account don't give up hope don't know why i'm saying that because i look fucking miserable right now but don't give up hope and just try to keep going because that's what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna fill out all the facebook forms i'm gonna go about it the right way and if i do get my account back i just hope that this man person doesn't continuously keep taking it off me and just don't be as stupid as me because now I feel like all my hard work might have literally gone to waste because I was a silly girl who had clearly had a lot of hope and it literally just got through right back into my face. So I will keep you updated. I'm just going to try and still post on YouTube. The only thing is, is I obviously just can't cross reference it to Instagram. So I don't know how many people are actually going to view this because I literally have like 100 and something subscribers compared to 11,000 followers on Instagram. So I'm not even sure how many people are gonna see this depending on if I have my account back by the time that this goes up. I'll put it in the description box below whether I do have my account back, you will know. If I don't have my account back and you are watching this and follow me on Instagram, I do ask you that you know, you please put this video on your story because other people need to know what not to do when you lose your Instagram account because I literally feel like I've completely fucked it. Not with just my account, but with my personal data. What an actual idiot I am. Like, I actually can't be asked for myself. <sighs> but that is it for today's little chat. Sorry, it hasn't been a very exciting or fun video. I just felt like I really needed to come on here because at the moment, this is my only big social channel. Like I've got TikTok, but I feel like I don't really have a following on there that follow me on Instagram. Whereas I know that probably a lot of my subscribers on here do follow me on Instagram. So please share this video around so that people know that to not get caught up in the absolute scam that I got caught up in. And please manifest for me that I'm going to get my account back. Sorry, this inter interview. I need to go to sleep. <laughs> Sorry, this video has been a little bit doom and gloom. I obviously need to let you guys know. And I'm obviously not in the greatest mood because, well, it's really obvious why I'm not in the greatest mood. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you do watch this video and aren't already subscribed to me, please click that button below because God knows this might be the only social channel that I have for a while. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.